Ubisoft employees push back hard on blockchain initiative. Wow. You mean these eunuch developers have finally found where their balls are somewhere in their man purses and they're taking a stand for something for once? These same developers that did nothing against censorship? These same developers that did nothing when their games were being co-opted to be used as political propaganda? Now they finally found where they stored their balls in their man purse and dusted them off and f are fighting back? Color me surprised. A conflict between uh, Ubisoft and Entertainment SA and many of its employees over a plan to adopt crypto technologies in the company's video games intensified this week. Oh, and I actually love Ubisoft's response. They actually gave their employees NFTs as rewards. <laughs> oh, that, that is nice. Though the French publisher, which makes popular titles including Ask Creed, outlined its thinking on the use of blockchain technology in a message to staff on Thursday. The announcement uh, on an internal message board prompted hundreds of negative comments from employees posted uh, for all their colleagues to read. One person said uh, it was a deeply embarrassing day to be an Ubisoft employee. That was a long time ago. If, if only now you're embarrassed, pfft. Ubisoft has faced criticism from fans and employees since announcing Ubisoft Quartz, a platform that allowed players the, of the shooter Ghost Recon to buy and sell certain equipment as NFTs. The company held a staff meeting in December to defend the plan and has since continued them to move ahead and despite internal uproar. Well, because when they censored, when they turned games into political propaganda, they knew that you uh, eunuchs just fell in line and did it anyway. What reason would they have to change? NFTs or non-fungible tokens are uh, immune to fungus or also controversial in the video game industry. Some game companies like Ubisoft see potential for big profits have experimented heavily with blockchain in their titles. Uh, no. So let, let me just stop this here. If they implemented NFTs correctly, it would be something like, uh, say, say FIFA, say you get that legendary Ronaldo card it would be an NFT. It, you'd own it. You can resell it or you could keep it and bring it with you into next year's FIFA game. If they implemented them like that, it would actually be pretty good. But they won't because they want you starting from scratch every year. They want you spending money on loot boxes every year. If you only needed to build your team up one time, and then you can carry it with you to each subsequent uh, game. No, there's no way they're going to give you that kind of power. Yeah, but many fans and game developers are opposed because of the uh, environmental cost of mining cryptocurrencies and the sense that NFTs are full of scams and make the game feel less fun and more like jobs. How is that any different than the mechanics they've already built into these games, I'd like to know? Several game companies have announced plans to invest in NFTs and then swiftly backtracked following harsh responses. And I actually agree with what uh, others like Clownfish have said. All of those companies who backtracked, as soon as a company like Ubisoft plows through and if they eventually have success doing it, every single one who backtracked will come right back to it. They just don't want to be the first. After posting the memo to answer key questions about blockchain, communicate as clear as possible, Ubisoft updated the message with the promise to also address current limitations and risks. That didn't stop the scathing comments from pouring in. Are we competing with EA for the most hated game studio by the public title? Because that's how you do it, wrote one. No, you do it by using the Ass Creed games and claiming they're historical and then rewriting history. I think kids call this entire comment section being ratioed, wrote another. Seriously, uh, our confidence in management is already shaken by the handling of harassment cases. And now this? Yeah, if they're already threatening like Activision Blizzard harassment scandals, ju just shut them down, man. Yeah, Rojigami's right. The greatest power we have is not play these damn games. Yeah, I haven't touched an Ubisoft game or an EA game in years. And Activision, technically I played Sekiro, which was published by Activision outside of Japan. If you want to count that as an Activision game, then I guess I played an Activision game fairly recently. But otherwise, I've been avoiding them pretty well. It's not hard. 
Some people using using their real names even took shots at Ubisoft's lineup. You know what else makes a lot of money making fun, spectacular, groundbreaking blockbusters? Why don't we focus on that instead? Yeah, if only you were even doing that, maybe Ubisoft wouldn't have to resort to NFTs, huh? Yeah, just just rehashing the same games year after year. Every single game in the Ubisoft stable is now basically Far Cry slash Ascree. <laughs> Whatever. And uh, finally, at the end here, I just want to say I would have a lot more sympathy for these developers and I'd have a lot more support for them if they reacted this way when it came to the stuff I cared about. Where were all these developers to stand up when uh, censorship is running rampant? Where were all these developers when their games were being uh, turned into political propaganda? Oh, right. The developers supported both of those things. They supported the censorship and the move to propaganda. So fuck them. I hope this internal strife tears the whole company apart. This is just two villains fighting each other as far as I'm concerned.